Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so for this episode, I'll be playing as Yue Ying of Shu. Believe it or not, her level 11 weapon was not as bad to unlock as the level 10 weapon. If you don't know what I mean, go to the final episode of Dynasty Warriors 4 on that Let's Play. I, I don't want to go over that ever again. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Wang Changyuan's daughter, Yue Ying, was a talented young woman skilled in the studies of astronomy, geography, and war. When Yue Ying came of age, she sought a man who would love her for her abilities, so she began spreading false rumors about her own physical appearance that were less than flattering, to say the least. The only man who saw through the deception and discovered Yue Ying's true essence was Zhuge Liang. The two would later marry, and when Zhuge Liang entered into Liu Bei's service as a strategist, Yue Ying also offered to use her talents for the good of Shu. Thus, Yue Ying created a fearsome new weapon, aptly named the Juggernaut. If this weapon could be proven effective in actual combat, it could become a great asset for Shu on the battlefield. The five Tiger Generals stood ready to test the Juggernaut against their might. This experiment must not fail. So you're not allowed bodyguards because technically the Juggernauts are your bodyguards. Alright, so Yue Ying's Nether Realm weapon, not associated with the Nether Realm from Mortal Kombat, is a level 18 Tiger Amulet, level 13 Huang's Bow, level 14 Horn Helm, and level 18 Herbal Remedy. Basically, this is a weapon built for raw offense. Enough said. So with that, I will not be needing the Tiger Amulet here. I will, however, use... What could I really use here that would be good to have? Uh, no sense to bring the bodyguard manual. Remember, you're not allowed any. Eh, we'll go with the speed scroll so I can move around better. Okay, so the objectives of this mission is if all the juggernauts are destroyed, you lose. And the officers you have to defeat are the five Tiger Generals of Shu. One by one. A superb invention, Yue Ying. But the power of this weapon is still unknown. Let us ask the five Tiger Generals to participate in a test. It would be my pleasure. Behold, the power of the Juggernaut! I find it funny that they call it Ride of the Juggernauts, even though you don't ride them. I think in the uh, intro it was called Rise of the Juggernaut. Alright, so once you defeat the officers, the soldiers will run away. So, I would highly advise to focus on the officers rather than just the soldiers. You'll just be wasting too much time attacking officers. What? This can't be happening. Somebody's living through denial, and every time you defeat an officer, a new juggernaut will be available. Now, normally, I would recommend just going after the officers as quickly as possible. Do not do that, because if you do and go too far, these gates will close and task forces will be sent out to destroy the juggernauts directly. So, it'd be in your best interest to take your time, let all the juggernauts through, then you can go on. Unfortunately, some take way too long to get across. You have to wait for them. Some go too far ahead and end up dealing with the officers. Well, actually, these two are actually waiting, which is good. So for this, it'd be in your best interest to take your time. So take it from there. I think you would lose the level 11 weapon if you either let one juggernaut be destroyed or if you let two be destroyed. Sometimes they do give you a bit of forgiveness that you, you are allowed one to be destroyed. I try my best to avoid that as much as possible, just in case you run into an impossible scenario. The only thing I don't like about the Juggernauts is they are slow and their pathfinding is a little bit retarded at times. I think now would be a good time for me to go deal with Guangzhong next. Each Tiger General will have their own different kind of troops, like in this case Guangzhong will have archers. Ma Chao, who's the third one, will likely have cavalry units. There is no place for toys in the battlefield. 
Or old people. Well, yeah, old people do have a place on the battlefield if they are committed. We gotta keep s s too many young people from dying. Besides, what is Wang Zhang gonna do? Play bingo all the time? Well, actually, in China, it was Go where they would usually play. I never played Go. Even though I did see it at the mall one time. Like, I was there uh, meeting some girl, and we actually saw the board game Go. Along with various other board games and Playboy calendars. But that's besides the point. I never bought it, but when I saw the board game Go, I was reminded of Chinese history. And that was the kind of game they usually played. Okay, there is a gate over here, so I'm gonna wait. That's probably the new one that was just made available to us. Fight me if you dare. I like how she just creates feathers like that. I mean, let's watch it again. Fight me if you dare. Usually when you press R3, that's your declare, and enemies that are close by will be stunned. There is an item called the Helm of Might that enemies will not attack during that phase. You can get that in John Fei's level. I noticed that Juggernauts have only like three wheels. I mean, look at it, it's almost like that blue car in Mr. Bean. Hopefully not drove by the same operator that always ends up being tipped over. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so Macha will be a pain in the ass because, of course, cavalry units tend to be the most annoying to deal with. However, I got a lot of range, so it should not be an issue. Wow, that was quick. I caught Macha in an infinite combo with an Amuso. No, not this wow, horse. A worthy adversary. And again, another juggernaut be made available. The next gate will be open to us. We'll deal with Zhao Yun later. For now, I gotta wait. I guess yeah, I could rush it and, you know, just go to the task force units and I can take them out safely before all the juggernauts are defeated. But, you know, it would make the video too short. So I might as well just take my time and take in the scenery. I might as well get this charged up. There. Maybe look around for some random pods, even though Yue Ying is maxed out in all her stats. Maybe I'll find some items, but they'd be crappy levels anyway. So there's no, like, perfect thing for me to do in my spare time waiting for all these. I have a lot of them, which is pretty good. Why is that turning around? You can't go up that hill? The other Juggernaut did. Why, do you need your own personal space? Come on. I've seen a carriage go through trees. You can't go around a hill? Get it together. I wonder if you need a license just to drive these things. Can you imagine the driving school for Juggernauts? Did you tort did you check your blind spot before you torch that soldier? No. Start over. That would be the worst driving school ever. I mean half of what you learn is like incinerating your enemies. That's all it is. Turning is not gonna be the best anyway, so. Okay, Joe, you and nice crossbow man this time. I'll try to cut through those ranks. Destroy them. Sounded a bit menacing, Yue Ying, but do it. There. That ended quickly, though Ma Chao is taking out the fastest. Indeed, an impressive weapon. I expected Zhao Yun to actually have cavalry with him. Because you know, he actually does start out on a horse. You know what? I think I could just power through to Guan Yu right now. Even if the gate closes and a task unit shows up, 
I should defeat Guan Yu before I lose a Juggernaut. Or two Juggernauts, let's see. Alright, Guan Yu, let's dance. Yep, there's your task force. And I defeated Guan Yu already. Significant damage, but one was not destroyed. Impressive. This should prove to be a useful weapon. I take this horse of myself. And there you go. I, I had some juggernauts that were damaged from the task force that was expected, but I didn't lose a single one. I would only fail if I lost all of them. Which let's face it, it wasn't gonna happen. And there you go. I still think that's a typo, by the way, ride of the juggernauts. So, enjoy the ending, everybody. Daughter of Wang Chang Yuan. Adept in the study of astronomy, geography, and military strategy, Yue Ying sought a man who would appreciate her skills above all, and thus spread rumors that she was physically repulsive. The Ermit scholar, scholar Zhuge Lei Yang was the only man who saw through Yue Ying's ruse, and thus the two were betrothed. The couple will eventually enter into Liu Bei's service together. Though Zhuge Liang was credited for inventions like the Wood Ox, Yue Ying always assisted in their creation. Now Yue Ying herself had invented a war machine called the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut needed to be tested in a combat situation, and for this Yue Ying asked for assistance from the Five Tiger Generals. Yue Ying was to lead her machines against Liu Bei's best officers. The Juggernauts tore through the battlefield, leaving the Earth scorched in its wake. With Yue Ying leading these awesome machines in battle, even the Five Tiger Generals had to yield. When the Juggernauts were used in actual battle, they proved to be powerful weapons that quickly shifted the balance of power. Yue Yang had finally gained the recognition she deserved. You know what I'm saying? That maybe Zhuge Liang was just needy. And didn't really care if she was ugly or not. So, I'll stop the video right here. In the next episode, we're finally going to go away from the kingdoms and do Yuan Shao stage next. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.